Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew. And I'm Vinny. And today we got a brand new exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition 2 pack to take a look at. Courtesy of Ringside Collectibles. Vinny, who we got today? We got the ones. Say the ones. That makes us the twos? Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, we're off to a rough start here. Yeah, yeah. We got Jay and Jimmy, the Usos. And these are, as we mentioned already, exclusives from Ringside Collectibles. They came together as a two pack. When did so, we order these guys? It wasn't that long ago. No. I, like. I want to say it was around WrestleMania time. Probably. I mean, a little uh, bit before. Around that. March. And it's now August as we're recording. Not so bad at all, really. Not, not, not at all. Wait at all. Not at all. But as of now, these are the only versions of the Usos in Ultimate Form. This is their debut, essentially, in the line. Yes. But I can already tell you now, we're not done seeing the Usos in the Ultimate line. Yeah. And already first impressions. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. These are excellent looking figures here. We're gonna get to the toys in a moment. Let's talk about the packaging real quick. It comes, the figures themselves came in the standard Ultimate Edition packaging, which we really don't need to go over. It's your classic shoebox design in the white and red. So, however, Matt, what box did they come in together? Oh, well, that's the fun part here. Really the only packaging difference that they came in is what's right behind us here. This is the really cool looking actually, uh, Uso's red box, I guess the bloodline box we'll call it here. We'll call it the bloodline bo box because it's definitely blood stained. It is very bloody. Yeah. And but... so both figures were in there and honestly that's really the only difference between any other Ultimate Edition packaging and this two pack. And keep in mind again, they're not like in a two pack as in there are two figures packed in one special Ultimate Edition box. It's two separate individual boxes. Mm. So in essence, if, say, you're looking to resell and you only want one, you could easily sell them separately. Yeah, and likewise, back of the boxes, too, same difference. It's the exact same thing we've gotten on any Ultimate Edition packaging previously. It's fine. It's great. It's actually a really cool box. We so, just don't need to linger on it. No, we've done enough reviews. So that's the boxes in a nutshell. They're really nice. They're cool, whatever. But we got them already out of the packaging. And we've got them already in the ring. So let's talk Usos. Are you feeling Usy today? I'm feeling a bit Usy. I hope these figures are Usy as well. I, I think so. And first glances, I think we both agree. These are pretty amazing. Yeah, like immediately looking at the likenesses. Jeez, it's phenomenal. So over on my side, by the way, I've got Jimmy Uso. And I've got Jay. And uh, pretty much, I, I will. we can admit this here. It's a little hard to tell them apart once they're actually out of the box, other than one very major difference between them. Maybe two at most, So when it's the figures like this. The biggest thing, obviously, is the heads. Yes. Clearly, their heads are different. You could tell the difference between the two of them. And for folks who don't know how to tell the difference, because granted, it, it's not easy sometimes. These guys no. are identical twins, after all. Uh, in toy form, especially, here's, you know, we'll show you guys the back. Uh, so you guys can see Jimmy has the longer hair. And Jay has the shorter of the two. And then beyond that, the only other noticeable difference on them would be the tattoos. Yes, because it's definitely two different designs. And with Jay, he does have the arm sleeve. Yeah, our, our Jimmy here is not as t covered in tattoos as Jay is. No, but Jimmy does get a hat that goes up with him. Jay was no hat in his box. But as far as the head sculpts go, though, I mean, these are great. These are gorgeous head sculpts. Uh, I have really nothing to complain about or even no. think about with them. They're, they're pretty much spot on, top to bottom. No, very easily, you could tell. And, of course, with any Ultimate Edition, it does come with alternate heads. And I have Jay in my hands. Besides this uh, gritting face, he has one somewhat smirking face and one more stoic. So... But even the paint job on his beards, like you could tell he's a little bit of a grizzled vet with these uh, paint jobs, which yeah. I like. I'm actually pretty uh, impressed by that too because I've talked about a lot of times in the past how Mattel struggles with beards. They struggle with facial hair. And they've gotten a lot better. It's taken yes. them like 10 years, I think, to get better at it, really. It it's, has. And this is now where you could tell the 10 years of experience it's starting to make up. Because this is actually like a nuanced beard. Now, granted, there is like, you know, a beard sculpted in. There's almost like a beard texture sculpted in. If you were to like rub off the paint with acetone, you would see like the sculpted molded version of his beard. Which I actually like that a lot more. Which is fun. But the fact is they actually painted this like really well with multiple tones. I mm -hmm. mean, it looks like off the bat there are at least two tones, possibly a third. It's a little hard to tell, but there's definitely like a darker 
kind of very dark brown, maybe blackish. There might be a darker tone in there. Yes. And then there's the white that kind of helps weather it and also shows that these guys have, you know, been around for a bit. Exactly. It's... Because it's shocking, actually, now I think about how long they've been around also. Right? It's been a long time. Mm hmm I think they were part of the original line. Yeah, they the... were. Way back when. And it's also worth noting, too, they got some really nice hair texture as well. Uh, yes. You know, my... Jimmy's got some really nice flair in his hair, if you will. Yes. And so does Jay. And I believe this was around the Survivor Series time, the War Games match that the Bloodline had with uh, Kevin Owens and it was part of the Sami Zayn betrayal of, well, multi one of multiple betrayals <laughs> yes. between the two of them. What a twisted web Zayn weaves. Yep. But yeah, the heads look great. And as far as Jimmy goes, the additional two heads that he has, we've got ourselves a wonderful screaming head, which is great if you have him on the top rope and doing some splash action. And then we have another grinning face with his teeth really bared and you can see all the detail in there. Uh, this is it's a pretty interesting head. I think it's a pretty interesting choice, isn't it? Yeah. It is a face it, it, he makes. It's just maybe a weird one to include. Man, eh, you got a good point with that. But still, if you compare the two, the two of them, Jay was the more serious while Jimmy was the more comedic, for lack of a better term. Yeah, absolutely. That's very, very so, true. So the faces match. Yes, they do. So let's go ahead and move down beyond the head now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess well, since we're going to talk accessories briefly, we'll get through it. We do have one right here on each of them. Actually, two of them. Now, in package, both Jimmy and Jay had their chains on. Yeah, I was so. hiding underneath this other accessory. Mm -hmm. And then they both did come with a uh, nice, highly detailed flower lay. Yes, yeah, so I don't know the proper name for what this is or the type of flower that they're using. We didn't do that much research no. before we got here. But uh, yeah, this would be, I guess, the traditional sort of lay that they would wear in so. some culture. Which they did come out to the ring in many, many matches. I do like that they include it as an accessory. It's very unique to them. Yes. Uh, it's kind of like a must-have. I, I really feel like you can't do any Usos now without having this for, for their No, gear, really. I think the last few Uso figures that did come out came with proper flower lays that matched the attire. Yeah, I, I like that. I hope you get more of that. So we'll talk about the bodies now as well. And they got, yep. these guys have matching bods. Yeah, it, you could tell right away it's the same mold. Now, you know what I think is kind of funny is how a lot of people complained about the Eddie Guerrero body and that kind of thing. And then you look at the Usos, and I'm like, why is no one complaining about these? Because it matches them perfectly, and it actually makes a lot more sense. It does, but even then, I mean, they don't really have, you know, they're not quite as ripped as these figures are. No. So I feel like, you know, if everybody's complaining about Eddie Guerrero, and to be fair, I get it. Why aren't there more complaints about other bodies? I guess with the Eddie Guerrero, is just the shape, and it's like... As we mentioned with the Eddie Guerrero, that was kind of his body at the time. It was. It just looked weird in Toy Farm the way it, they did it. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, he was pretty big and bulky. I feel like what I'm kind of getting at is I wish there was a little bit more body diversity in these toys. I feel like after going on this many years, Mattel, yeah, I feel like they can get a few new molds out of things. Fair, so We've fair. seen the same again we've and again. We've seen the same again and again and again, but also they are a toy company. They're a business. They have to do what's best for business and if that means they have to reuse a few molds and if it works great if it doesn't oh well i mean it's true but then you look at somebody like jacks who use like the same four molds for the entirety of their line and we're kind of in that same position now and mattel has had this license for over 10 years mm. so at this point we know they're successful we know they're doing well it'd be cool if they could have a few more unique molds here and there for the men you know the women is one thing because the women do have generally unique molds because they have different outfits and that tends to be molded onto them. but the men it's always kind of the same four or five it feels like Fair point, and you just hit the nail on the head. If it's an attire that's molded onto them, then yes, they'll make a new mold. But if it's just a plain body, they could get away with it a little bit more by using the same. It's true. There definitely is some room for imagination in these toys. I mean, that's very much apparent uh, mm -hmm. with how they make them here. But anyway, as far as the figures themselves, articulation is amazing. Let's, let's yep, go into that right now, too, because both editions, they've got like the best articulation. Yes, compared to any wrestling figure on the market right now I mean, on I, the general market i should say yeah i mean i would still say that the aw supremes actually beat them by the tiniest little bit but again it's the tiniest bit i yeah. just realized look how <laughs> much movement this is reminding me of an AEW figure yeah this is a pretty solid amount of articulation that you don't normally see yeah. i mean they don't have the rocker uh joint in the waist still no but, but i prefer this one over the rocker joint in the uh elites I mean, it's got some pretty good movement in the in the sand. You know, again, you're getting full range of motion in the head with a bullet jointed head. Mm -hmm. You've got the butterfly joints in the chest, which give you a great so. amount of rotation in there. 
Of course, you have the drop-down hips, which have become new to the Ultimate line. And they're pretty integral, especially for these two characters, because if you want to get a good super kick, you're going to need those drop-down hips. Oh, down yes. Hips. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Young Bucks can't do that, that's for sure. <laughs> nope. Actually, they might be able to. I haven't really tried, but... Uh... At least now we know that they can have a super kick party together, and that's what matters most. And all the other joints that you would expect are there, the double-jointed pinless elbows, mm -hmm. double-jointed pinless knees, rotating thighs, the feet can move, and you've got the toe joint as well. So a lot of dynamic range of motion, which is what you expect out of these ultimates, and it really makes them just so much better. Uh, yes. Now let's get back down to the accessories they came with. Right, we got a few more here. So besides the head, besides the chains, besides the lay and also Jimmy's hat. They both do come with the two different sets of hands. Well, different is a term we should use loosely here, I feel like. Fair, we, we literally, we've seen these molds plenty of times. We literally picked up the same hands that I've been trying. Uh, so yeah, they, they can have a fusion dance. F oh, ooh, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, right? So yeah, we've got finger pointing hands and Close we have- fist. And we got closed fists. So six hands total for each of these guys, which is great actually. Yes. I always love having extra hands. Now, the only thing is, if you're gonna keep these two loose, be prepared. It's gonna be hard to tell the difference Yeah, the on only, whose is whose. The only real thing you can do to tell the difference is to remember who's got the wrist and finger tape where. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you guys can figure that out on your own. Yeah, Jimmy is that. the one that has the most finger tape on uh, his hands while Jay is the one with the least. That's the only way you can figure it out. To be fair, look, you don't care about something like that, and I really don't that much. No. Just let them do whatever they want. That's fair, fine. fair, yeah. fair. Of course, they also come both with a set of Raw and SmackDown tag team titles, which I mean, already at that point, they were basically the undisputed tag team champions. This might be my first version of these belts, actually, for these guys. It's definitely uh, the same for me, but... They look really good. So I haven't yeah. seen these up close before. It, it's funny seeing them on TV and whatnot. They look really, really corny. Yeah, I do not like those belts on TV, but in toy no. form, in toy they form, actually look really good. Yeah, very, very good. So two belt Jimmy and two belt Jay, and they look good. The belt they, detail is wonderful. Leather definitely. detail is nice. So it's funny enough overall for a very simple belt. <laughs> actually a really nice looking belt. I think that's why they added more detail to help kind of make it look less simple. Because to me, it's just like they got two oversized quarters and put them on a belt. Isn't that what they used to call them when they first came out with the design? The, I think the so. penny belts? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So they come a long way. But uh, they, they look actually excellent in toy form here. So yes. I'll give them that. So now it's making sense why the belt was designed the way it was. No, well, I still hate it. But it's yeah, good in toy point. form. Yeah. <laughs> and then last but not least, the final accessory that both guys have are t-shirts. Yep. The We The Ones shirt. So just yeah. like the Eddie Guerrero that we looked at, uh, this is a little bit different than the shirts we've seen in the past for yeah. Ultimates. It's no Velcro on the back, which actually the Roman Reigns we have in front of the ring, that one had a Velcro backed shirt. This one doesn't. Now, we had a comment on the last video from uh, our Eddie Guerrero review, yes? Yes, we did. So when we were reviewing our Eddie Guerrero figure, we didn't realize something here, because these toys don't come with instructions, really. So no. we struggled for way too long getting the t-shirt over his arms and onto his head. Yeah. And then we got a comment from uh, someone whose name I forgot right now, but shout out to that person. Hopefully they're watching again. Thank you for that one. Yeah, seriously, thank you. We didn't realize this. I guess let's do it right now. Uh, so we'll pop the head off first, because that's obviously the first thing you should do, Easy as well as the necklace. So please we, make sure you don't confuse my uh, necklace with yours, please. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, keep your please. jewelry away from mine. <laughs> yeah, please. So we didn't realize this, but it makes sense. The arms actually do come off at the shoulder. Yep. So we've seen it before with like Nakamura and Bret Hart, characters who have like jackets. Th they had jackets, but never with normal arms. Yeah, so this is, you know, it was kind of unexpected, um, but it makes perfect sense that they did this and now it looks way cooler. And also it's, it's it actually is so easy to get these shirts yeah, on now. Because me personally, I like when the shirts don't have the Velcro. When it's no, the only shirt I don't mind Velcro on is Hulk Hogan because he's <laughs> ripping off his shirt. Yeah, exactly. But if the shirts are not ripping, then there's no need to have the shirt with Velcro. And pop the arms on, it's on and off. It's very simple. Yeah, like, it's like any the, Ultimate Edition figure. Before Vinny even finished that diatribe, I had already replaced everything, swapped the head and everything. So, I mean, look how easy that was. Yeah. Look how good those heads look now with the shirt. That shirt is it's, great, too. I mean, this is the classic is, We The One shirt. It is. No, 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 no. It's... Mattel, once again, is showing how they've nailed the ultimate line. 
Yeah, really, if you're not buying wrestling toys that often, the Ultimates are the way to go. Yes. And these two guys are practically perfect in every way, it feels like, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just me here. These are just, like, that damn good, so, if, if I can paraphrase a different wrestler. It's definitely, definitely a home run with figures. Yeah, so top to bottom, these are outstanding. Uh, but I feel like this, this picture is incomplete at the moment. I think we need to make some room. I think we need to acknowledge someone. And now the set is complete. Acknowledge him. Hello. He's acknowledged. He's, he's feeling thoroughly acknowledged. Doesn't this look amazing? Like all yeah. three of these guys together. I mean, if we had the Paul Heyman, this would be perfect. Yes, and right now I think the only way you could get that Paul Heyman is through that three pack. Which has now gone through the roof in terms of pricing. It, that's a little absurd how expensive that became. You know what will shock me? We haven't gotten any Ultimate Edition managers yet, have we? Not yet, no. Could Heyman be the first? I think so. That would be pretty cool if they pulled that off. I think so. Let's hope and pray that they can do that. But as far as our Usos are looking here, I mean, Vinny, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty Usy about these. Oh, I'm definitely feeling Usy about these. Yeah, everything top to bottom, head to toe, is 100% what I'm looking for with the Usos. Yeah, it's... If you're looking for Uso figures to get, these are the ones. We the ones? No, they the ones. Oh, they the ones. Oh. They the ones. I see what you did there. Yeah. We the twos. We are the twos. <sighs> <sighs> the facial detail is amazing. The paint jobs are clean. You know, I, we barely even talked about the tattoos, and those are also equally amazing. Yes. I mean, perfect it's application like, of those. There's nothing wrong with these figures. I'd it's, say the... I'd say the one thing we didn't actually touch on would be the one thing that's kind of maybe throwing some people off would be the pants because we talked about this before we started filming and yes. we noticed the pants on our Usos were kind of two-toned. Yeah, and you could clearly tell it's decaled. Yeah, you can tell but, that it's decaled there, but I think it's also meant to be the material because you'll notice if you look at it more, it's like, you know, you'll see this leg starts the one color, this leg doesn't start till over here. So I believe so it's meant to just show the different types of fabric they wore with these which pants. Which is highly possible. I have to go back and actually find when they used uh, these attires. Yeah, because you can see, I mean, the way it is put together, it, it's absolutely it, meant to it, be it different kinds of fabric. It looks awkward. It does look a little awkward in Toy Farm because of how they did it, yeah. Because yeah. they really have it, you know, especially with the joints, they had to make it really clean. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to, like, Exactly, make it seamless. like, because it's in line with the seams and the yeah. joints of the figures. But if you can get past that part, which I think we did pretty easily. Very easily. These are absolutely outstanding Usos. Great accessories, everything about them is perfect, so, and they just fit in so well with Roman. Yes, like it matches this Roman attire. Now, apparently, we are getting a re release of Roman. Yes. Which I think actually that re release may match these Usos a lot more. Ah, so that, that's the reason to get them then. Yeah. As... Lucky us, more buying Roman Reigns figures. At least it's not a Hogan, right? Yet. Quiet, you. Yeah. Many Hogans were announced this year at San Diego Comic Con? Too many. How many? Too many. Twelve. It was 12 many. That's how many. 12. 12 Hogan's for the clone army. Yep. And how many are we getting of them? At least half a dozen. Exactly. Yeah. So we got to shut our mouths with that one. Yeah, we Mattel did. knows what they're doing with Hogan right now. Stupid Mattel and their Hogan's, but... Just wait till they do that again with Savage. Ooh, yeah, but I'd actually buy those. But anyway, uh, as far as the Usos go, these guys are great. And if you want to pick them up for yourselves, there's only one place to get them from. And that would be Ringside Collectibles. And guess what? We don't have any affiliate codes or discount codes with them, so you're on your own. You're on your own. Sorry. Yeah, wish we could help you. Yeah. Yeah, ringside. Throw us a discount code or something one of these days. Come on. We gladly use them for ourselves, too. We sure would. <laughs> we sure would. But that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. I'm Matthew. And I'm Vinny. We'll see you guys here next time here on Nerd News Today for more statue unboxings, toy reviews, and everything else we do here on the channel. And maybe so. next time, we can be the ones. Only time will tell. Yeah, but we can do the fusion dance. No, we got and we, we just got missed. We missed. Well, the, and we're going to turn into fat trunks. Yeah, that's, I mean, worst things have happened. Yeah, fair. Yeah.